Today we're making buffalo cauliflower, one of my personal favorites. Of course, we need cauliflower. We're gonna put a healthy twist on this. Instead of using sour cream or something else, we're gonna use full fat yogurt, which works perfectly with this. We're gonna put in some blue cheese for a little bit of kick, some Frank's Red Hot, salt and pepper. We're gonna oil uh, the cauliflower, so we're gonna use that. And as we need to, a little bit of vinegar to thin it out, depending upon how spicy we want it. So to make this, we're gonna use an air fryer. I've selected the best choice products for today. I've got a couple of different ones. I love this unit. In the description box, you'll see a link to a review if you're curious about it. And then we'll be heading over to the stove to make the buffalo sauce and then bring it all together. All right, so the first step is we wanna make cauliflower drummies. I find it's easiest just to peel off the green leaf at the bottom to start. I like to use a small serrated knife and slowly cut out the stem. You can see a little more clearly. All right, and with the stem gone, we can start to see where the sort of the natural breaks are gonna be in the cauliflower. And I apply a fair amount of olive oil, pepper, and salt. And we're gonna add more later. We're just gonna mix that in. I'm going to take the cauliflower, put it in, and just roll it around so it gets a nice coating. All right, and once the cauliflower is coated, put the cauliflower in the basket. We're going to take the cauliflower and put it in about mid-level. Turn the air fryer on. We're going to go all the way up to 400 degrees, and we're going to do that for 25 minutes. Now we're gonna make the buffalo sauce. I think yogurt is perfect for this. And again, I use full fat, 5% yogurt. I'm gonna put that on medium heat, depending upon how spicy. Put in an appropriate amount of Frank's Red Hot. And then blue cheese crumbles. Gonna turn the heat all the way down to simmer. Now we get the cauliflower. Then it takes the cauliflower and puts it in the mixture, or it gets the hose again. And at this point, it's just a matter of lightly coating the cauliflower with the buffalo mixture. All right, now we're gonna plate it. And I always like to put out a nice presentation. This is a great appetizer for parties, for a meal, something a little bit different, but it's also on the healthy side. <sighs> Buffalo cauliflower. If you like this, I'd appreciate it if you click like, subscribe, and of course, please ring the bell. And check out some of my other videos.